Do we or don't we know everything? Uh, stars. A N Y N of T X R anything, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave it. You got my email, I take it, uh, Kelsey. Yes, I did. Sorry, D, D. I want to get you off of addiction to T. There's nothing wrong with T, but okay, D, D blank, right? Okay, P of D, Y equals zero. D is D, D blank. What is P of D? Equals A, N, D to the X, D to the N. Apply differentiation, N times. Right? Characteristic zeros. Right? So far, so good. So let's give some examples. I don't think I can call this an example. Uh, S equals alpha, simple, real, zero. Then the characteristic solutions. Somebody tell me. Y equals C one e to the dot dot. Right. Okay. Now don't go through. through the whole speech, just give me the real solutions. And over on the side, I'm going to write the hint. The growth decay of the real part And from the imaginary part, we get the oscillation. 
like that. So tell me the real solution. E to the alpha t. Alpha t. Times cosine or sine yeah. cosine. Brownie point. There you go. The, that's the characteristic solution, right? Okay. S. Multiplicity degree K, right? Degree K. God, get this out of my face. It's in my face every time I come in here. How come I'm in such a bad mood? Because I lost the key today. Is there anything worse than losing a key? No. Okay, that's the worst. Just a house key, of which I have many. <laughs> your wallet. Your driver's license. Your wallet and your driver's license. Thank you. That's worse. <laughs> You're right. I mean, I have a million house keys, but now I have to go do another errand this week. You know, replace my. God, I hate errands. <laughs> okay. S equals alpha multiplicity K. Now we're going to put the note on the side. Extra freedom is managed, absorbed, I'll say, managed with the simplest possible adjustment. What kind of multiplication? What's the simplest possible adjustment? When you, instead of constants, from a constant. Constant one. Huh? Is it with one? Constant is one. Yeah. Extra freedom. We have extra freedom here, right? Come on, you guys. What's the simplest thing from a constant? Zero. Zero is a constant. Do you guys ever read your notes? No. <laughs> Extra freedom is managed with Free what? choices. Huh? Free choices. What'd you say? Free choices. I didn't hear. Free choices? Yeah. How do you manage them? Right. You gotta have a way to express them. You're supposed to the know. K choices. Huh? What do you do? Probably with, with K choices. Multiplication by what? No parts. God. <laughs> do you guys ever read your notes? What's the simplest adjustment from a constant? I literally read that and I skipped that word and just said free choice. Yeah, you skipped the word polynomial? I, it was polynomial with free choice, and I just skipped polynomial and said free choice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But at least it's in your notes. Oh, it's all here. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Extra freedom is managed with polynomial multiplication, the simplest possible adjustment from a constant. Now, <clears throat> how does that come to be so nice? 
Well, this is the simplest. All these, it's because all these coefficients are constant. It's, a, it's the simplest differential equation we can think of. That's the reason. Okay, S equals alpha multiplicity, multiplicity K. And your book will say there's a solution basis. But we'll say, quotation marks, care, solution. Quotation marks, because it's not characteristic unless it's an e to the alpha t, right? So we have c naught plus c one t plus c k minus one t. Somebody tell me why I stopped at k minus one. Count. One, two, blah, blah, blah. How many do you count? We started at c naught. We got to k minus one. How many are there? Three. Huh? Three? Because there's always one on the outside. K is arbitrary. Okay. Because there's always one on the right. outside. Pretend K is 10. If I count from C0 to C9, how many free Cs do I have? Nine. Not to 9. 0 to 9, not 1 to 9. 10. 10. You get it? Multiplicity 10, you mean 10 choices, okay? Or you might say poly uh, poly with 10 choices, and you take the lowest order you can, poly with k choices polynomial and the alpha t. Right? Okay. How about this? We're nearly done. And then we can do a quick example. we'll have a conjugate. We don't want to do complex coefficients. There's only one person in the room who wants to do complex coefficients. That's me. I can do that on my own time, don't you think? <laughs> no, Lydia, you want to. <laughs> okay. Now what? So we have characteristic zero. F equals R alpha plus I beta multiplicity K can I write down here book they'll say book basis it's a bit much to memorize but the idea isn't 1 e to the alpha t, what else? t e to the alpha t, c to the k minus 1. So the book will say, well, you form a basis and you multiply by t, t squared, t to the, up to t to the k, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they're saying that, multiply by polynomial, right? Okay, it's, we're saying the same thing. I just want to say, 
What's a principle you can memorize? The acts of freedom is managed with polynomial multiplication. Amen. Right? If you understand what the words mean. This thing with the solution bases might look uh, confusing at first, but it's just another means of saying the acts of freedom is managed with polynomial multiplication. Okay, so now this is a little bit more difficult. We put this in parentheses now because I don't like to say the word characteristic solution unless it's a pure exponential. But I mean, we got to have solutions, right? Okay, so now we're going to have, shall I write y equals here? To remind us that it's part of the solution, right? Okay, this can be a little more complicated. Y equals e to the alpha t. We've got like 2k degrees of freedom, right? It's going to be hard to write down but it's not going to be hard to imagine. Equals and now we've got to have a big sum and we're going to have something times cos beta t. What is the something? Well, the something is plus what did I tell you about the acts of freedom? Polynomial multiplication. Fermi point B naught plus B one B plus dot dot dot. Of course, it's very impractical to try to solve an initial value problem with all these derivatives to take care of. Plus c k minus 1, c to the k minus 1, cos, oops, parentheses, right? Parentheses, cos beta t. So it's e to the alpha t times some polynomial times cos beta t. Does that make sense? This times a polynomial times this. We could have put this outside here, right? But we've got to have 2k degrees of freedom. So I thought I'd put it inside here, d naught plus b1b dot 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 plus d k minus 1 sine beta t. And it doesn't matter if you want to expand, take this times this, and this times this, and then add, right? And so your book basis will be, it's very long-winded, 1 e to the alpha t cos beta t t e to the alpha t cos beta t, etc., right? 1 e to the alpha t sine beta t t e to the alpha t sine beta t, etc. Do you see why that's a bit confusing? It's the same thing. It's just saying the acts of freedom is managed with polynomial multiplication. Okay? And as far as where I wrote this, I wrote it here. You can make e to the alpha t times this plus e to the alpha t times that, right? So you could write if you like. Can I write it again just for fun? So we know everything now. Let me write it again for fun. Can I, can I just erase 
Well, let, let's erase the principle. Here's the principle. Real part, growth, decay. If there's no imaginary part, forget it. Right? Okay, if they, there's an imaginary part, isolation. This says everything. If the imaginary part is zero, it's pure real, we have this, right? And the act of freedom is managed, so this says it all. This tells all if you know what the words mean. This tells all. Tells all. You ever see the movie Tell No One? No. It's violent. And it's a European French movie. It has a terrible kind of simplistic ending, but it's a good thriller. Okay, this tells all. If the imaginary part is zero, right? The real part is e to the alpha t, amen, right? If you have an imaginary part, that's fine, right? Okay. The act of freedom is mad and polynomial multiplication. So let's write this down uh, a second way. Just uh, make sure you don't get confused by what I mean. Y equals C naught. Oops, I have to write it like so. Y equals C naught plus C one T plus dot 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 plus. And what do we have here? E to the alpha t, cross beta t. I wrote the same thing. I just expanded it. Plus c naught plus c one t plus dot dot dot. e to the alpha t sine beta t. I just wrote the same thing, but I expanded it out so that you could see the extra freedom is being managed by polynomial multiplication. <coughs> okay? Does that make sense? Say amen. What are you worried about the clock for? Oh, I see. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Somebody pull out their clock. It's four. Huh? It's four. It's four? We really should stop right here. Can I give a quick example? I want to do we should stop here, but I want to see test your metal. P of D, let's try P of F equals S to the four. Uh, let's see, S squared plus four squared, S to the four. Oh no, this is too good of a test question. This is too good of a test question, don't look. Okay, so P of S equals S squared plus four squared, right? And that's S, that's the square of S minus two I times S plus two I. I didn't do this to myself, yes I did. That's a perfect test question. Okay, so S equals zero plus or minus two I. S equals zero plus two I. <coughs> Twelve. 
twice and s equals 0 minus 2i twice. All we agree? So let's write the general solution. Well, the characteristic solution. Characteristic solution, well, uh, is the general solution. I put it in parentheses because there's nothing else to deal with, right? Of y equals c to the alpha t times y equals g naught c Do I have four degrees of freedom? Do I have polynomial multiplications? Do I have e to the alpha t cos beta t? So tell me. So a parentheses is actually the general solution because you have four choices, right? So it's actually the general solution y of t equals c naught plus c1 t times what? e to the alpha t. e to the 0. e to the 0 times 1. What's cos beta t? 2 t. We know it's the general solution instead of just the characteristic solution because have four equals order and four equals number of free choices. Are we agreed? There's nothing else, but it's not multiplied by something, anything else. You can sit the rest on the test if you want. Isn't this nice? <laughs> Great. I'll just leave this up on the board. Look what can happen. C naught cos 2 t oscillates. D naught sine sine 2 oops. Sine 2 t oscillates. But look what can happen when you have a multiple zero on the imaginary axis. You have, a multi, you have a simple imaginary zero. A simple imaginary zero, you have C naught times one times cos two t. You get oscillation. If you have a multiple imaginary zero, you get T cos two t. Uh-oh, what does T cos two t do? gets bigger and bigger. The oscillations don't really oscillate. Amen. That's the lesson. You guys want to take a two-minute break or you want to take it? Take it. Okay. She has to get a picture of it.